for me, obviously, Barry was the best hitter, hands down. I, I didn't think there's any argument uh, over, you know, our careers anyway. Blab. The other guys, you know, saw him at the tail end. But, you know, I remember McGuire, like, uh, just, he's the first guy I ever, like, came out of the clubhouse to watch take BP during a home game. You know, it, it was uh, something you had to see. And, uh, you know, we had that upper deck in left field. And I think Javi Lopez would hit one every two weeks up there. And, you know, we'd be impressed during BP. And, you know, McGuire comes in town, and he hits like six in a row up there. And you're like, okay, this is this is something special. Yeah. And, uh, you know, a little intimidating, obviously, when he goes in there. And, uh, you know, like I said, if you don't give up a home run, you pitched him really good. These guys all still had holes. So, you know, we're still out there trying to exploit those weaknesses that they had. It's just they, they made you pay much more than a lot of the other guys when you made a mistake. Greg, I mean, it's interesting to me when, you know, you talk about the first guy you ever came out to watch BP. Um, you know, so such a show. I remember SportsCenter would literally be interrupted, breaking news. We interrupt this SportsCenter for a special report. Mark McGuire is about to get in the batting cage. What was the conversation like as pitchers talking about even just the show that was going on pregame? Well, I mean, you know, you know, we're like, well, I, I bet he can't hit a curveball in the dirt, you know, <laughs> <laughs> stuff like that. But uh, uh, not a lot of conversation, just watching and just really admiring. I mean, uh, uh, honestly, it's uh, the most impressive BP I've ever seen. And, uh, you know, he hit a couple of balls in the, in the games like that as well. But to uh, watch him not even be 100 percent loose and hitting home runs out dead center at, at Bush Stadium is uh, – uh, I just remember seeing that going. He's just he's just a different beast than, than the rest of them. I'm kind of curious more about the scouting reports. I know, especially um, against Sammy Sosa, Greg and Tom, you guys faced them the most, especially that summer. What was the scouting report on Sammy Sosa? Uh, I guess for me, it was the same as it was everybody. Keep the ball down, throw some change-ups. So I'm going to go in and try to keep them, uh, try to make sure I miss in. But, um, you know, as best as you can, try to keep them, uh, to the big part of the ballpark. Don't let him pull the ball. But, um, you know, I think for me, like I said, it was uh, I was going to try and attack him down in the zone. And, and uh, if he made contact, hopefully it was a ground ball, not something he could lift. For me, it was like just try to keep him in the park, you know. I think uh, uh, I didn't mind giving up a single to him or a double. Just wanted to keep him in the park. He, uh, uh, you know, the scouting report was he kind of chased out of the zone a lot. Uh, I wasn't that kind of pitcher. You know, so I had to challenge him knee high and hope he hit it at somebody. I, I remember the scouting report for us was uh, he had that big toe tap, so just trying to keep his timing off. I know he liked the ball up, you know, that hung in the zone and um, get him off the plate a little bit. But um, he he did a lot of damage that year. He was he was tough. Steve, you faced Mark McGuire the most, obviously being in the division um, mm -hmm. with him. Uh, what was it like pitching against him? I would say it was tough, especially that year. Um, you know. The thing I, w I didn't have, which was probably his biggest, weakest link, was was a chase slider. So I had to find other ways to try to get him out. And um, his discipline that year was by far better than he had ever had prior as well. So he wasn't chasing much up in the zone or down in the dirt. And uh, he just had it, the whole zone narrowed down to, to where he wanted the ball. And he just didn't miss that year. Yeah, and I, mean, I know for me you'll find this shocking. But, yeah, I just uh, I tried to stay away. Uh, I tried to stay <laughs> him probably more than anybody. Uh, really, the, the main focus was stay down. Uh, but he was so good at, at hitting the ball that was, you know, thigh high and elevated. Um, so, again, you, you're just trying to stay out of that, that middle of the plate area, but particularly uh, up in the zone a little bit. And, um, you know, I mean, again, there's not, there's not a lot of guys I think any one of us would say, oh, you know, we're afraid when this guy gets in the batter's box. But trust me, he was one of the few guys that you're, you're thinking, please don't hit a line drive back at me. Uh, you know, hit it out of the ballpark, hit it the other way, just don't hit it back at me because, it, you know, the ball came off his bat different. Um, so I think that was just the key. You tried to, you tried to stay uh, down as much as you could, not let him elevate. Um, try to keep him the big part of the ballpark, but that didn't really matter much for him either. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.